Hey warriors, good morning. I'm sitting here in the blazing sun and I want to welcome, welcome, welcome all of the new warriors to this group. I know many of you are starting this week. This may be day two for you. This may be day one for you. Many of you completed your first week last week. You could be one month in. And some of you, many of you on here are well, well into your journey. But I'm really, really needing to speak to the new warriors in here. I really, really need you to give yourself two full weeks of going all in. Going all in is eating six times a day, five of them being fuelings, minimally getting in your 64 ounces of water, but ultimately building yourself up to 100 ounces of water. Eating within 30 minutes to an hour of waking and then continuing your day every two to three hours. This is a process that is scientifically proven to give results. You cannot change the process. Making up your own plan is not going to get you to your goal. Many of you came here already making up your own plan saying, I know how to eat healthy. I know how to make healthier choices. Um, already we're giving up some of the things that you know are not going to serve your body, but we're still not making moves on the scale. Now we know here, this is not all about the scale. We don't want you using that word diet, okay? Because a diet is something that is temporarily to get some weight off of you, but does not build any healthy habits. A diet gets you to maybe a lesser weight, but then teaches you really nothing. People who diet go right back to where they were, picking up the same bad habits they had, and then bringing them right back to the weight they started, and oftentimes more. What I need from you is to really get your head together and know that you are making changes lifelong changes. One component is the nutrition piece, those fuelings. Those fuelings have everything your body needs to get you from A to B. You can't just skip them because you're full. You need to follow the plan to precision if you want to get to get the results that you, you came to us for. You will. Now, some of the concerns, some of the struggles in week one is you're going to experience changes in your body that you may have never experienced before. When you go from A to B, and when I say A, everybody's A is a different place. Some people are coming in eating 3,000 calories a day. Some people are eating all fried foods. Some people are eating all like loaded desserts, sugars, ice creams. What do you expect is going to happen when all of a sudden you switch gears and start putting all of the proper things that your body needs in? You're going to have some changes. It takes time to adjust. Some of you will experience headaches because your body is detoxing. Sugar is a real addiction. Your body is detoxing. Some of you will experience some bloating initially. Give your body time to adjust. Did your coach warn you about gas? Yeah, gas is gross. Everybody lets out gas. Will you experience more? You're putting vegetables in your body daily. Some of you weren't eating any vegetables or very, it was very rare. You are putting vegetables into your body every single day. Of course, you're going to have gas. Your body is adjusting. You're going to have gas. Stop being scared off by these changes in the first week. You have to let your body adjust. I experienced these things too. Was my husband grossed out? Yeah. What I do? I tried to be discreet about it. My kids, I have five and seven-year-olds. What did I do? I chased them around and made sure they smelt it. 
Who cares? Do you? Um, you're always going to have gas for the rest of your life. It's not going to be at the same level as maybe week one or week two while your body is adjusting. You need to give your body the proper time to adjust. If you are quitting on yourself, that's exactly how I'm going to word it. Quitting on yourself before two full weeks in, then you just gave up the best thing you could have ever had your hands on to serve your body. I'm 100% confident in that. If you said, I can't do this without giving it two full weeks, I promise you, you will not find something out there that will work better for you. Maybe you did. Maybe you stopped. Get back on and give yourself a chance. Were you logging with your coach every single night for the first eight days? I have my clients Every single night, I need their log. I need to know their wake time. I need to know the time of every fueling, and I need a detailed lean and green. Why do I do this? Because when we think we are understanding what we're doing, if I let that person go all week making those mistakes, how did that serve them? It served disappointment because maybe they were doing something wrong that could have been tweaked very easily after day one and now i've set them up for disappointment those results will come if you follow the plan so wherever you are in your journey even if you're well in and this is really important if you're well in to your journey and you've gotten that initial maybe you have 50 pounds to lose and you got that initial 30 off and you were gun ho and now you're slowing down and you're ishing it, and you're just kind of staying where you, same weight, not going anywhere. You gotta stop right now, and you need to reach out to your coach and say, I wanna log with you. I wanna get myself back on track. Will you just look at my log every night and make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing? You probably are gonna be already doing what you're supposed to be doing, but now you're just holding yourself accountable. But maybe you are making a mistake. Maybe there's this tiny little tweak that you didn't realize that you needed to do in order to propel yourself and get that scale moving in the direction that you were in the beginning. It's never too late to reach back out to your coach. You have to take on the responsibility. You have to. Text your coach and say, hey, I need you. Can we chat for a few minutes? I want to kind of go over my eating again and I want to see if I'm if I'm really following this correctly am I doing everything I need to do or do I need to make some changes. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you. We want you to be successful. We don't want you to get partially down and then you're just kind of ishing and hanging out. We want to see you through that transition. Oh, there's another group of people I need to talk to. Many of you are are right there hanging out because you're afraid to transition. You've lost all of this weight that you never could take off before and you are so scared of going back. You have to do this transition. If you think you're gonna get to your goal weight and then just go right back to eating however you were, eating six times a day is going to be for the rest of your life if you want to remain in a healthy state but at a healthy weight and feeling great. This is not a diet. Staying on some fuelings like myself, I've been at my goal weight for a year, I've maintained beautifully. I stay on three fuelings. Number one, they're delicious. I pick my favorites. Number two, it's convenient. I don't want to think about six things to eat in a day. So for me, it's convenience and why would I go and shop for who knows whatever it's going to be when I have everything I need right in those feelings. So for myself, I stay on three. I continue to eat, eat six times a day. That's never changing for the rest of my life. That's why you're never, ever, ever going to see this coach gain weight. I'm going to remain at my, my healthy, happy self because I have learned 
what I need to know to do. I've built the habits that I need to sustain for the rest of my life. So if you're just, all right, I'm getting down to my goal weight and I'm, I'm falling off the face of the earth, and you're not going to sustain. And this was a diet for you. So warriors who are rocking this months and months in, please, 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 please say something in, in here. Share how this how it's going to get better after week one and week two, how you are going to build that energy, how water is going to become a habit. You're not going to be peeing constantly when your body adjusts. Give yourself the two weeks. Otherwise, you just failed yourself. Have a great day, warriors.